Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we went against the Siren and it was a pretty good one actually. We had a, a really nice mark composition going on and it went really well and we took on our first lot of our mercenaries and we actually have a little bit of story as to why they have appeared in our campaign courtesy of TEA had a really good idea uh, as we know Nevada our uh, butcher uh, he has ties his backstory has ties to the Colors of Madness DLC on the comet itself and he unfortunately he he left he went missing and no one knows where he went he just left in the dead of night and he hasn't come back since and it seems that he was recruiting some mercenaries to go after these shards of course they do want payment at 10 percent of our shard loot taken they want a little bit of payment but they will be going out into the um into the colors of madness area into the the mill to gather some shards for us uh, and we're going to be taking them out every so often to gather ourselves some more shards here which we can hopefully use to get ourselves a good amount of loot um, but yes, the, these are all we don't we don't have specific names for these guys. We don't know their backstories. They're just passers-by that have been told, have heard the word of Nevada, and are wishing to uh, to find themselves some uh, find some, themselves some powerful crystals that they've been told of, that they've been promised of. So they'll be uh, helping us from time to time. But to start, we're gonna go down and fight the Brigand Twelve Pounder. Um, We've got some pretty interesting things here. I've actually got two alchemist um, trinkets here. So we've got one here, which is 100% damage versus bleeding and on hit cures bleed. Um, and then we've also got this here, which um, has extra healing skill versus bleed, extra damage to bleeding and on any skill bleed. So these two actually work really well together. And then we also have a dark wraith one here, which allows us to do some uh, stealthing. I think we might already have one of these, but... In terms of this group, I wasn't really sure who we were going to go out with. I wasn't 100% set. But I think I'm going to take um, Anguis here. Just because uh, Anguis has really nice uh, armor-piercing damage. And I think he'll be able to do a really good job of, uh, of taking some of these enemies out. Which is just really nice for us. So we'll, we'll keep him in mind. Keep him with us. Um... I think he's going to be a really nice one to have around. And then with him, I was really debating who we should bring. Uh, and I got persuaded to bring Sven. Uh, we actually haven't brought out Sven yet. Sven is the um, ocean born and he has... Um, half boy half crab and he has some really strong healing skills uh mainly he has this really really strong heal and then he also has this spike the rum which is going to be uh minus to accuracy but it is an aoe restoration and you can transform into the crab form in which he can do quite a lot of damage so that should be quite nice uh mainly going to be his tidal slam here which uh he's gonna be doing some knockback and stun gonna be quite nice to have that um we do need to make sure we have some backline damage as well. So, with this party, uh, let's see who else we can bring. I haven't really decided on the last two people to bring with us here. So, let's uh, let's decide on that now, shall we? Um, we're going to need someone that does good backline damage. How about Havrad? We had a little bit of a chat about this, but he is, of course, the cannoneer himself. So, it only makes sense for himself to go against the cannon. Um, I think that's going to be pretty interesting to play with him. And then we need a healer that can do some extra backline things as well. Um, let's have a little look, see, shall we? We could go with William uh, as another healer. Or we could go flat out for some more backline damage. I'm kind of more inclined for, to go for some more backline damage, actually. Uh, we could definitely do with a little bit more. Maybe we'll go with Smith and Elise. They These guys have a pretty good... Um pretty good little thing going yeah let's let's go with smith and elise because they have some healing as well uh, and then we've got i think we've got good damage and good healing both of which are sorted so let's uh let's get some provisions on these guys wow i almost clicked in bark there uh let's get some provisions on these guys and sort these by class restriction and see who's got what exactly why do we have two of these we definitely need to get rid of one of them one moment just sell one of them. There's no point having two of them. Uh, right. Let's have a little look what we can get sorted here. So, Angus, we, we kind of want him to be dealing as much damage as possible up front here. Simply because he's going to be um, just doing a whole hell of a lot for us here. So, what we could do is we could go with the Elizabeth's head, which is going to proc bleed. Uh, but also give him some extra accuracy. That could be quite nice. Um, 
I'm not sure wh whereabouts are we going right now. We're going into the wheel, so bleed would would be fairly effective. Uh, so that that could be that could be a decent idea. Of course, we'll take on the extra twenty trust, but I think we will go for that. Um, and then what else do we want on him? Let's have a look. See, shall we? Um, we definitely want the accuracy and crit on um on Havrad here. He really needs that accuracy to to be potent to to put out the damage we want him to. Uh, what else could you benefit from? What else could you benefit from? We could go with a straight up ten percent damage buff. Uh, I'm not gonna. Be, I'm not sure if that's quite the thing we're looking for though. Um, we could go with this as well, but he's gonna be moving positions quite a lot i think i don't think he's going to be staying in one place all too much uh let's go with the extra damage versus human shall we uh, in the wield we're going to be coming across some human foes and uh the end the, the the ones that we'll be fighting at the end apart from the cannon itself are all going to be human based or we could even go with flat crit and damage it's more tempting to go for that but we do lose a lot of skills with that we lose a little bit of speed but no, I'm going to go with that, you know. I'd rather have the crit. I'd rather have the crit. So Sven out Oceanborn, he's going to be our main healer. So we'll get this on him here, uh, which is kind of annoying because we he loses that um he gets that never virtue so if we does if, he, if his stress does get too high it is rather problematic but he does get that 20 healing skill and then we could also put this on him but i'd rather not get the minus five to crit because he might be doing damage as well although it's not going to be super super reliable that he's doing damage uh, he is going to be doing some so i'd rather not nerf him with that so let's just saddle him with that there and um, smith and elise here um It'd be nice if we had, if we had some sort of generic repost repost uh, buff here, but I don't think we do. Uh, let's have a little look, see what we can what we can put on on you to maybe buff up your skills a little bit. What's going to be the main thing you're doing? So we're going to be dealing a bit less stress. We're going to be curing blight and bleed as well as healing. We, we're going to be doing a lot of repost damage. Um, maybe these guys can just go with some general things. Um, yeah, let's let's go with that. Uh, plus plus four crit, plus ten damage, and plus five scouting chance. That's pretty good. Uh, and is the end anything else general that would that would help out here? We could go with more scouting chance and just have these guys as as our scouters. They're just going up ahead and searching the way, sort of protecting everyone. Um, let's go with this, shall we? Get that going on, and then Havarad, you can go with the, um... Do you know what? You can go with this, actually. Even more accuracy, a little bit extra damage, tiny bit extra stress. I think that's a pretty good uh, set of uh, items to go with here. Now, we do have the thing from the stars and the collector here, so there's a chance that we run into both of them, which is certainly scary, and, and it's not particularly something that I want to deal with, but if we have to deal with it, then so be it. Uh, also, another thing, um, Trill and uh, Dismas have come back from their adventure now. They are back home, Um Trell is, of course, very shaken by the whole events of what happened. He doesn't fully understand exactly what uh, Dismas went through, but I'm sure that we'll hear some more from him as we go ahead. But that's going to be very, very interesting uh, to, to go about. So let's uh, jump into this quest here. We'll take ourselves 20 food, 4 shovel. We'll take 4 of everything. Boss ones are normally not as bad for provisions. We'll take 18 of them. Uh, and then I think we're good for everything else. I am very ready to get some more shards. So if we do come across the uh, thing from the stars, then we can beat that thing down into the ground and see how that goes. But let's uh, let's embark on this journey and see how this goes. Um, Whispers of heresy roused the rabble to violent action. Such was the general air of rebellion that even my generous offer of gold to the local constabulary was rebuffed. To reassert my rule, I sought out unscrupulous men skilled in the application of force. Tight-lipped and terrifying, these mercenaries brought with them a war machine of terrible implication. Terrible implication. We do also have some more diary entries, again, from T. He has been a titan of this series, writing a lot for it. This one is from Hammurabi, our leper, after returning home from the farmstead. The reaping claimed many on this day. During the extensive battle, however, I could feel something much more powerful than a simple rabble we were felling. The great power was far away, deep, deep inside the fragment's hellscape. We must cut our way to it, defeat it, and then keep fighting. 
I will be the one, if no one else will, to purge this place enti uh, entirely. For those barrier, um, for those barriers holding it back will not last forever. Interesting. Very interesting. We do have this plague thing here. Probably won't affect us too much because we've not got anyone with a plague. I was planning on bringing out William, but I thought that we haven't brought out Sven yet, and I'm interested to bring him out. So let's keep on moving forward. Who's going to disarm this? Okay, no one's got a particularly better thing on this, unfortunately. We did get a bit of stress there, but that's fine. We can deal with it. Let's get that going. Ooh, we got ourselves a trinket right off the bat. Great. Great, great, great. Ooh, okay, so they have um, this here. Find inspiration in the strangest places. That can be kind of annoying, but this brother and sister combo, they're a bit odd. I think people have noticed that already, but we'll have to deal with them as they come. Okay, we we've been marked already and uh, lowered our accuracy, but that shouldn't be too bad. Let's crab form right off the bat here uh, and see how this goes. Nice. Wow. That's a, that's a nice attack. Uh, we can prep for the next phase here. Light our fuse. And I think we'll... Um, yeah, we'll activate repose here. And buff our repose damage. Just get that going and mark us. Try and take some of the damage off. Um, I'm going to go with Impale here and just hit everything. Try and kill that guy. It bleeds everything because of that thing that we've got on him. He is taking more stress, of course, because of that. But being able to bleed everything at once as well as blight them. Pretty awesome. Okay, and there's the repose damage. Awesome. Great one, Smith and Elise. And we can punch her forward. Get a hit on you. Um, let's just go with the heal here. We cure them as well, which is really nice. That cure is actually a really, really big get for us. Finish you off. Well, didn't quite, but it will finish you off. And then finish you off as well. You are going down, Crone. Unfortunate for you. But I think the fact that we have this here, which blights for one point for three rounds, but then on top of that, we hit for two points for two rounds of bleed. That's actually a lot of damage to get on every single thing uh, as we go through here. I'm liking that a lot. We'll just open this up, see what we get. Some extra treasures, nice. And we're heading all the way down here. So we've actually got quite a long ways to go before we get to... Um, get to the, the the boss here which means plenty of time to come across the thing from the stars and stuff but i think we have a team that's really well suited to defeating those and i might actually search them out if we if we have the time or the resources to do so and not worry about fighting them too much and actually maybe try to fight them could be fun could get some extra skills i'm actually gonna start off with this unfortunately it's a dodge right there um let's get this going right off the bat shall we I think starting off with that's really, really important. Nice dodges, guys. Press the dark, another nice dodge. Um, we can mark targets and even deal decent damage here. It only deals two to three, four to six on this. It's not exactly a lot, but I don't mind it. Uh, let's do crab form again. We've got the healing back here, so I don't mind doing that. And then we can go with self with 45 damage reflection. Uh, or we can guard an ally. Let's go with the damage reflection here prepare that. I think damage reflection is pretty interesting, especially while we're marked. There you go. He's taking five damage after that. We can prep ourselves here for the next phase. Havrad, of course, isn't exactly the best in the world for doing that, but um, it takes him two rounds to do his big damage, but that's fine. Uh, let's get a little bit of stress relief on here. Takes one action, and then we can cure blight and bleed. No, we don't really need to do that, do we? Let's just buff ourselves up even more, shall we? Keep that going. Lots of stress coming in. But Puncture's going to finish you off, or at least get close to. And we'll finish you off. Whoa! Averad with a 44 crit. That's what I like to see. We'll snip at you. Knocks you back and stuns. That knockback and stun is just crazy. It's not. It's been a while since we've actually had a transformation class. And these guys are pretty interesting. I'm liking them a lot. Um, finish you off. Hopefully you don't die. So I've got a bit of an idea that I want to do here. A nice amount of healing there. Uh, let's switch back. Activate repose. Okay, so on the switch back, we don't get to heal. We do get to activate repose. That's pretty interesting. I was going to heal everyone, but looks like we're not going to need to do that. We got enough action to do so. Nice. And that repose as well. Okay, so when we transform back, that's actually pretty nice that we activate repose. I like that a lot. Um, 
That's that's pretty interesting. And Sven is going to be a, a class that I'm going to enjoy using, I think. Definitely. Some stress dealers right off the bat here. We're probably going to take some stress before they get to do anything here. And we even got grabbed, which honestly isn't great. I think we'll just move ourselves forward here. Do you know what? No, I'm going to I'm going to commit. You can stay up front. It's fine. You can tend to your crab form. Activate this. And we'll push you back after. Ow. That stress isn't good. But don't worry. Anguist can, can handle it. Anguist can handle it. It's the light that I don't like. Stop, stop burning down my light. Um, so on this attack, we've still got our buff. So let's just go with this. There you go. Wow, well, we've still got our buff. This time, we will actually leave this to... Uh... I was going to say, actually, no, we won't. I was going to say we'll leave this and make sure they don't get pushed back again, but I'm fine with it, to be honest. You can get a kill here pretty easily. There you go. Great stuff. Getting a lot of trinkets and stuff here. We'll open this up again. Even more hidden treasures. I love it when that works out. Keep on pushing forward. Of course, we do have the chance to come across the snakes here, which I didn't plan for, honestly. I didn't I didn't prepare for. So it may be that we don't actually want to sleep. We don't want to camp. Could be uh, could be pretty drastic for us. Ooh, got a hit on us there. Um, I'm just going to hit you, see if we can get some damage on you. It marks you as well, which isn't really that big of a deal, but we'll go for it. Interesting stuff happened there. Wow, that's a big bite. That's a big bite. Okay. Um, we're going to be healing now. Wasn't expecting to heal yet, but we're going to be healing now. Impale is just too strong, especially with stealth. Look at all that. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, we can deal enough to kill you, so let's just kill you rather than prepping our longer attack. We don't need to right now. This thing's eating everything. Ow. Okay, we definitely need some healing on double devour. Havrad, are you okay? Don't worry, Havrad. We'll, we've, we've got your back. We've got your back. Ow, is that a bit of blight? No, it's not actually. We didn't take any. Lovely. Uh, let's finish you off. Okay, so let's get you healed up because you are really hurting. As you can see, that heal's pretty big. Nice crit. We really needed that there. That was huge. Probably should be taking out the crone first, considering the stress the crone can deal, but... It's all right. We're getting through it. And we'll just bonk you on the head <laughs> with the bell. Just a good old smack. A good old smack. Open up that chest. Get a bit more gold going on. Okay, so we got a secret room. We'll actually head back to that now. I'd rather get that out of the way with right off the bat and not forget about it. I'll have to come all the way back for it. Because knowing me, I will. And you guys know it as well. So we'll head on through. And see what uh, what holds in here. Hopefully some more head trinkets. That'd be great. Uh, unfortunately not. But nonetheless pretty good. We'll swap it out for that. That's a lot of money. So I'm happy about that. And I am actually going to go and fight battles that I don't have to. Because I'm okay with it. It's probably a bad idea. But I'm going to do it anyways. we have got some spiders here. Can we kill these with one hit? We can't. Uh... Unfortunately, it's going to lower our accuracy, but I will do that and get restoration on everyone. Just to prep them for the damage that's going to be incoming in a moment. Impale. That is a real shame that that missed. A real shame. Nice hit. 20 crit. Lovely. Plus 20 damage for getting that crit as well. It's going to hurt. Yeah, that blight's going to be a pain. That's going to be even bigger of a pain. Definitely going to be curing that off of us. I'm most worried about the stress right now, to be honest. There you go. Heal you up. Nice hit. Anguist is just absolutely shredding it. We definitely need to do some stress reduction here. We're definitely feeling the effects of stress on Anguist here. It could be problematic if we don't deal with it as it needs to be de dealt with. Okay, at least they're giving us it. They found the inspiration, but at least they're giving us the rewards and not keeping them from, for themselves. Okay, let's go push through here. None of the battles we're looking for yet, but that's fine. Right, let's do some stress relief, shall we? It's only six uh, stress relief, but I think it's fine. Um, guard ally. This is armor piercing. 
We can deal up to seven damage here. Don't really think it's worthwhile. I think we just prep this for when we get our repurse going. And... We'll just heal you up to full. I don't want to turn to crab farm yet. Okay, they resisted everything there. We're definitely going to prep the damage here because we got some meteor furs. Stress is building. Got to worry about that, certainly. Especially with uh, Sven, because he cannot virtue. So we've got to worry about that, definitely. Um, do you know what? I am going to crab farm. I wasn't planning on it, but I'm going to because I can do this and stun this guy, get him out of the way. Didn't either. Didn't push him nor stun him. Very annoying. Definitely need to carry on with the stress reduction here. We're just going to stab you. It doesn't do good damage, but it's fine. Finish you off. Got that armor piercing. Definitely need to get that crone de-stealth. We do have a de-stealthing skill, I'm pretty sure. So we could do that. <sighs> That's a lot of stress coming in. I'm not liking this. Right, you're going. Cause... No, you're not. Oh, God. Scary. Scary times. Nice dodge. We're going to have to keep stress relieving, though. It's too important right now. And we'll clear that blight off for you as well, because why not? Right, please die. Thank you. This thing can deal some good damage, but... Yes, a stun. I like it. Clear that off you. Prep ourselves with some prop. Even if we're not getting the repose damage, it's fine. And there's the last hit. Nice one, Avarad. Uh, portraits, I really do want those. Um, I, I should get rid of the anti-venom, but I'm scared to. I'm very scared to. I'm just going to leave the portraits. I do apologize. I do apologize. I know I shouldn't, but... I'm going to. Right, let's head through here. What we got? Okay, this is actually a pretty easy bit of combat here. Especially if we hit the what I want to hit right here. Come on. If we could do this, this would be great. Right. Um, I'm just going to hit you. Okay, I didn't do, it didn't do anything. I'm going to smack you. That's a good hit. Come on, please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Yes! Everything took a lot of damage there. A lot of damage. This thing's going to heal up the... Devour hits so hard as well. Like, that's the problem with Devour. It just hits for so much damage. You're dead, so that's fine. Let's heal you up for 10. Heals you up completely to full. Um, and let's do that. And that. Nice. And like I said, you're dead anyways. But we'll crit for 25. Nonetheless. And... Our stress ain't looking so bad anymore, is it? Our stress ain't looking so bad anymore. Get some more heirlooms here. I'm missing a Jade, but that's fine. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on. And we've cleared this whole area. We didn't get um, the thing from the stars or anything like that down here like I was expecting. But nonetheless, I think that's pretty good progress. And we're getting a lot of gold gathered up, which I'm really looking for. First hunger check here. We still have 20 food, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we got ourselves this here, uh, grave robber. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that. The white trinkets I very rarely use, so I'm not bothered about leaving them behind. And you may be thinking, yeah, but you could sell them. But I'd rather not risk being, not being able to open a curio because I don't have the right thing and missing out on even more potential money, uh, or taking damage to something I shouldn't have to, sort of thing. Right. Keep opening up these bodies. Searching through them. There you go. Look. Imagine if I'd have got rid of my bandages. How sad would I be? Probably not the first thing I'd get rid of. No, you fools. <laughs> they resisted it anyways. Oh, there was a trap there. Whoopsie. That's a lot of stress I shouldn't have taken. Our resists are just going off today. We're getting resists on literally everything. But here could be where we come across the collector of the thing from the stars. These last few rooms. So let's just be ready. Be mindful of the fact that we could come across one of them. It could be pretty devastating if it happens. Depending on how prepped we are. Uh, we've got one of these guys, which they can they, they can be problematic, but they, they haven't been recently. We're definitely going to do some stress reduction here and just stab that thing. Actually, pretty good damage. Uh, and we'll prep this as well, because I think getting that ready is going to be super useful. Heal you up for a crit of 20. That's great. Even more stress reduction. I'm still going to do Impale. I think Impale is super useful. Didn't Blight or Bleed either of them, but did on this guy. 
bringing bringing this uh, this guy with um, the Duchess and Harathan, our Forsaken, so we can deal extra damage to Blight and extra damage to Bleed. It would be such an insane build. It really would. Uh, we're going to carry on with the stress reduction on Sven because, like I said, he can't virtue, so we've got to be very cautious of him and make sure we don't mess that up. You're going to go down pretty soon. Not before lobbing a skull at us, I reckon. Tapeworm. That's unfortunate, but you are going to... I was going to say, you are going to get a kaboom. No, you're not. Howl. we got horror on everyone. It's annoying, but not terrible. Nice heal that. I don't think we have anywhere to cure horror for anyone here. The grave nibbles. Unfortunate stun there. But we can finish you off with a bell. Or we can miss. But don't worry, that uh, finished you off anyways. And I'm going to go like this. And let's see how much damage we're dealing with this. This will always kill this guy. So I'd rather go for this one and then let someone that's overkilling. Oh my god, such an overkill. Go for you. Ooh, hello. Um... I'll definitely take that. Uh, I'll actually get rid of my keys for that, you know. I've already found my secret room, so I'm not too bothered about getting rid of keys. Portraits, I really want them, but... I really want them, but I can't. Also, we're running out of torches, I just realised. We're very nearly out of torches. Okay, this could be one of them, so let's, let's be prepared. Oh, it's just bloodsuckers. Just bloodsuckers, guys. Never you mind. Right, we're gonna... We're gonna Knock these guys out. Oh, it resisted. Oh, your, oh, your stun resist is r ridiculously high. Still going to be doing stress relief here. Uh, we might as well go for a hit. This is going to be tough. You've still got your damage buff, right? Insta kills one of them at least. And impale. We can bleed these guys pretty easily. Nice. Ow. No stress for me, please. No plague for me, please. Definitely no plague. No curse, even. Not plague, because it's a curse. Still with the stress relief on everyone. Trying to get everyone lowered down. Finish you off as well. You can finish this guy off, and then this guy will die to his own... His own bleed and stuff. Or have Rattle finish him off with a cannonball. Got some diamonds here. I really don't want to throw things away, but... Don't want to throw things away, but I'll take it. Uh, we'll take it for the holy water instead. I know we've got tons of holy water, so it's probably not a good idea. And then we probably should take blood, but we've already got so much of it, so I'm going to leave it. As much as people may be pained by that decision, I'm going to leave it nonetheless. Right. Question is, do we want to camp? Because the thing is, there is a good chance that we come across... Our snaky boys. We don't have prevent nighttime ambush, I don't think. Not by the looks of things. Oh, we do. Okay. Um, would be a nice stress reliever. We would be able to get some extra damage from it. But we would get a lot of stress on Anguis here. And that would, that, that would be quite bad. Let's take the risk. Let's go for it anyways. Take the risk. Right. Havarad... You can go with Prevent Nighttime Ambush. I don't care if you get that negative to your skills. In fact, can I just... Yeah, I can just cook that right off you. Uh, right. What bonuses? 50 Healing Skill if a Murder Sister. 50 Stress Relief if a Murder Sister. Less damage, less prop. We're not really using you for damage anyway, so that might be quite useful. Um, minus 25 Stress. That's pretty good. Um, blight Skill Chance. Cannot be marked. Armor piercing. All companions armor piercing. Then um, light resist chance is really good for us. I don't think there's anything else that's really going to help us out too much, is there? Let's just buff you with that. Right, I didn't see. Apparently if he talks is a good way to know. Let's just do that, shall we? Uh, if he talks it's a good way to know that you're going to be fighting the snakes. I didn't see if he did or not. I don't think he did. Mmm, there it is, there it is. That's the horror I was talking about before. Doesn't last too long, but it can be a pain. Let's get that going. Attack you. This is going to be scary. It's going to be scary. We don't have much anti-venom. So, 
might be quite bad, but we do have the ability to heal off the, um, this. I'm actually going to lower accuracy of everyone and give everyone restoration, just as a preparation here. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Very nice. That hits pretty hard. I'm just going to go for the hit there. There you go. That's a huge crit. Love it. Very nice one there, Haverad. He is guarded, but... Oh, well. That kills you. That's nice. Um, Let's get that bleed off of you, shall we? Infuse. There's some more blight going. Nice hit. Wow, that's a big hit, actually. Um... I'm just going to heal myself up here because we're really low. And then Havrad, you can finish off this guy. This snake's still pretty much full health, but I think we can take him out. Um, yeah, we're going to heal you up and get that blight off of you as well. As much as he's going to... They really like attacking Sven right now. Uh, we can bandage him up pretty easily. Smack you on the head. Give you a little bonk. I know we're not doing too much damage with the cannonballs without crits, but we'll do it nonetheless. And there you go, we finished it off. The horror should leave us now. Beautiful thing they say, flawless as the sea. Of dunes, graceful desert wind, captivating a shimmering mirage. They stare, they linger, they watch me without blinking. We got some Age of Scales there as well. Um, shield breaker only. That's decent enough to take. Uh, but I don't know where we'd fit it in. Let's just take it here, shall we? Oh, first of all, though, let's do that. There you go. I think that's a good place to leave that. Portraits. We've missed out on quite a few portraits this battle. I know. I realize. It's not exactly the most ideal way to play. You watch the thing from the stars appear now. Can't believe that stress. Very annoying. Thing from the stars appear on the last tile. Okay, we did get a battle on the last tile. Wasn't thing from the stars. Imagine that. Ow, no rabies, please. Okay, I didn't check. Whoa, some glitchy stuff going on there. Uh, what did this do? Tapeworm. Oh, it's extra food consumed. That's not too bad. Um, heal you up again. We can toss an impale. Ah, oh, it sucks so much when impale misses because I can't do impale next turn. It really does suck. Um, we're going to be just stress relieving Mangoes here. And striking these doggies. Okay, you moved for some reason. Um, can we figure out why that is? Um, must be something that you guys have then, maybe? I don't know why he moved then. Fair enough. That pushes him back nonetheless. Oh, it's because of the curse thing they got, look. It's actually a pretty hard fight to go up against right off the bat here before our boss. Attack the doggy. I'm actually going to go for these guys. I think these are more important to take out. Going to go for the restoration again. Even though it lowers that accuracy, it really helps out in getting everyone healed up for the boss fight. Finish you off. Not quite, but the bleed will finish you. Ow. There you go. Yeah, I really need everyone healed up for the boss fight here. Not in good places here. Everyone's moving about. It's very annoying. There we go. That's what we needed. That little lance, that throw. I'm loving this, this this whole synergy of bleed and blight. I did forget that this guy's taking 20% extra stress. That's probably one of the reasons we're struggling with him so much. You can't kill this thing, but you can get it weak. It'll probably heal up before we manage to kill it, though. That's the only thing. Uh, or not, we might be able to get it. Or maybe not, because of the position you're in. Shite. That's not going to do anything. We should have just gone for the heal. Heck. I really don't need more stress, game. Really don't need more stress. Let's bonk this thing, because it needs the bonk. And finish you off. At least we can, like, this This part is pretty movable. So we don't have to worry about people being out of position, really. Okay, you just left some uh, body on the floor. That's fine. Okay. Um, We've reached maximum stacks of this. Let's um get rid of our torches and just go in. Right. Little worried about this because of our stress level, but let's head on into the boss fight and see how we go. Just make sure we take out this 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 guy that lights the fuse. He's our main problem right now. 
Um, I'm just going to bonk you. Don't need to heal yet. Let's just take you out. I'm not going to risk it. And we're going to keep stress relieving. Anguis here. Nice one, Smith and Elise. You're doing a good job. You can take this guy out the front as well. Slice and dice. Okay. Light the fuse. We can light our fuse. You can't light, you can't light yours. Misfire. Whoa, that was close. That's a lot of stress. That's a lot of stress relief. There's the reinforcements. This guy's coming back in. Um... Hmm. We could go for straight damage on this, maybe. Let's try that, shall we? It can't be pulled, but... Go for straight damage on it. Blanket fire. That's not too bad for us. I'm going to do this. No way! The match guy dodged it. You can't... Can't be serious. Luckily, he's dead. Really want to be hitting the cannon with that, to be honest, but... Didn't quite get as lucky there. I'm going to go for the heal here, because you're a bit low. Oh, my God. It's scary. This, this fight is scary. Um, Go for a heal again. Sven's a little weak, but I don't really worry about that too much. You're taken out. Nice. 21 on the cannon. Lovely. Comes in again. As long as he never gets to act, I don't care. That blanket fire's hurting. Sven, you're going to buff everyone up in the next turn, I think. Give everyone a bit of healing. That lower accuracy, like I said, it does suck, but we need to go for it. 19. You need that crit, dude. Haverad, you need to crit on that cannon. It's cannon v. cannon. It is cannon v. cannon. Hit you. Make sure you're a bit weaker. In fact, we might be able to pull you forward enough to hit you. Yes! This gives Angus a really easy way to uh, deal a bit of extra damage. Nice dodge, everyone. Like that, look. Beautiful. You don't have your extra damage here, so let's uh, get that going again. Get that ready. Oh! What? It managed to fire! How? Um. How did it manage to fire? How did it manage to fire? I... I am very confused. This has gone very badly. I don't know how it managed to fire. We need to just keep attacking this thing. If it hits it again, fire in the hole, we might die here. Dodge. Thank God. Havrad hit. But he's got restoration. He should be okay. He should be okay. We'll heal him up anyways. Okay, that was... That was... We should be alright here. Even with blanket fire here. I'm just going for the damage now. I've got to. I've got to. This is so scary. This is so scary. I hate this. We did it. That was so stressful. I don't know what I did, but it managed to fire. I thought it could only fire if the fuse guy was nearby. Holy shit. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just feel better if everyone's eaten up. Holy crap. Wow, that was scary. That hit me so hard. My life. My poor soul. Return to Hamlet. Wow, that was... That was just super, super scary. My god. We earned a lot of money there, though. We got some... Got some unfortunate things here, but we can deal with them as we go. Wow, that was... Oh, my God. The Fanatic will stalk parties with infected heroes. Interesting. Right, let's just unequip all of them. Let's just make sure, like, check people out and see what's going on. Um, Let's upgrade these a little bit, shall we? Um, medical ward cells to three. I really want the treatment ward cells to go up to three. That would be best. The front line of 
this war is not in the dungeon, but rather oh my god. inside the mine. Okay, I'm, ra I'm, ra I'm rather okay to do some trading here so we can get some stuff going on. Um, I realise that we have a bunch of different blueprints now that we can use, but I'm okay with doing this for now. Okay. Wait, let's, let's just have a look. So we can either go for this, which increases our medical ward. We can go with increased chance of curing extra diseases, or we can go with this, which I imagine level 4 gives us this. We won't, actually, we won't do that for now, but let's, uh, let's take some people on and sort by level and get these guys taken care of. You've got some stress relief to do. Nothing like that's terror. Actually, let's just check, make sure. That's fine. Um... Let's get rid of the guilty conscience. That sounds bad. And get rid of that as well, because that's really annoying. And then you can get rid of Tapeworm. Okay. Right. Let's see what we've got available to us here. Extra damage and dodge with damage received. Nothing particularly there that I want. We've already got this fully upgraded, haven't we? Yes, we have. Any of these we might want. There's uh, quite a few of those. We can have a look through in a moment. Let's just check these first. Um, privateer. Bypass stealth, minus 20 virtue chance. That's fine. Probably won't take any of those. The claimants, that's a pretty good one. Repursed blight, that's pretty good. And the apostate one that we got given to us last time. Let's check who we've got on board here. We have a master surgeon. We do have a seer. I don't have a seer yet, but I'm not taking that class. Oh, we have a slayer, but he's only level two. That's a real shame. It's a real shame. We're looking for level threes and above. I don't want to take any more level twos. Um... But we do have a surgeon here, master surgeon. I think probably, yeah. I'm probably just going to leave my surgeon at this level anyways, just because we want to keep people lower level. Although, I don't know. We don't want to be short for healers, so no. We won't, we won't do that with a healer. We won't replace him. Uh, and then let's go on another short adventure just to end off the episode. Like, Let's find... Let's just go on this short one here, and we'll level up Trell, because uh, he needs to be leveled up. Trell, Mars, Red, you can come along as well, and um, who's going to be their healer? William, probably, or Aaron. How effective can Aaron's healing get? Three to four. Does Trell have any healing skills of his own? No. He has a self-heal here, but um, it will blight him. You can heal other people there as well. Self-block 1, allies plus 5 stress. Buff self for minus 22 damage received. Buff others for minus 12 damage received. That seems pretty good. We'll definitely take that. Um, these two seem like his best ones. Then we've got Blood Fury as well, which is pretty good. I think he's pretty good in positions... One and two, yeah. Uh, we could take Mary. Although only 10% maximum health healed is pretty low for healing. We'll take William. William's pretty good. Uh, although, I think... Hands off. Let's have a look what we can do from here. Heart of Gold inspires an extra turn. Flashing the goods, we don't want to do that yet. Probably going to be using mainly this here. Attacks bit repost and then uh, the Kiss of Death as well. Kiss of Death is actually pretty good. Kiss of Death, both party for minus 20, 8% stress, 95% chance is really, really good. And um, giving an extra turn but minusing damage is also pretty decent. Mars here we know has been a pretty, pretty decent trooper, so we'll bring him along. And just go on a quick little quest here um, to get a few extra things done, I guess. So we'll take 15 food... Three shovels. Three, 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 three. And 15 of them. Cool. Let's quickly embark with these guys. And we do have a few more di diary entries here. We have one from Manol, the banished hunter, again by TEA. Today, a woman arrived in town with the same affliction as me. Lacrophrithy. I can't, I can't say that. <laughs> it may be hard to believe, but she told us that herself. No fear that um, we would retaliate, and we didn't. 
In fact, they brought her along for an expedition. She claimed she could control herself in beast form. I can't believe someone would even think about tolerating an illness as terrible as this, much less embrace it like she has. I won't follow the same path and I won't lose hope. There is a cure. We just have to find it first. Isaac has found himself quite busy treating both me and some poor soul in the town who was unlucky enough to be discovered um, of the courtyard, be a discoverer of the courtyard. I have to admit, Isaac's experimental treatments, although unpleasant, have made me feel a little better, more in control. And even still, I plan on visiting the Abbey later and speaking to Anna and Annie and Aaron about treating my, uh, about trying to cleanse my illness with holy magic. We'll see if it helps. Interesting. We have even another one here. This is from the local cartographer. Yet again, uh, I feel terrible, terribly, terribly ill. The first is driving me insane and I feel weak. Every moment is an aching effort. Isaac has determined that I was struck with some sort of illness, something new and overpowering. I told him his treatments were making me feel better for his sake. He's working so hard, but the reality is I feel no better at all and I can feel my condition worsening rapidly. God damn. God damn. Right, escape, uh, explore 90% of rooms, okay. Let's, tr let's try and do this quick, we're just, do we're just kind of doing this for the XP more than anything. So I'm okay with just getting through this. Really don't want to be doing stuff like that though, that's that's just dumb. But we really want to level up Trail now that he's back, he's ready to go out on an adventure. He's ready to head out once more. Really, I've walked into it again? <laughs> I'm not, honestly, I'm not meaning to do this, I'm trying to stop. I tried to stop just before it and just didn't. I promise. Okay, I've got a few maggots here. Should be able to take these guys out relatively easily. Um, let's heal everyone. Do you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I didn't shrink it up at all. I'm dumb. I didn't add any trinkets to anyone. We gotta be careful now. We gotta be careful now, because I did not think about that at all. I just went out and didn't shrink it up. Really should have done that. Wow, you killed something. Ow, the maggot's hurting. It's okay, though. I'll probably kill this thing just about. Yeah, there you go. That bleed damage is doing just enough for us here. I'm gonna heal ourselves up here. Bit of stress healing going on, bit of normal healing as well. Get that thrust going on. Nice one, Mars. He's still a bit shook from going down to the uh, courtyard, but he'll he'll pull through. He's a, he's a strong warrior. He's he's not even really a man, is he? He's more of a he's more of a creation of a of a force. Hey guys, have some of them. Ooh, that's a nice crit. Beautiful stuff. Nice one, Mars. Hit hard, Trell. Come on. Did Trell even get to? I don't even tr think Trell got to attack last time. <laughs> I don't think he did. Slice and dice. Ooh, bit of a miss there. And some stress coming in. That's fine, we can deal with stress. And the blight. We'll probably just get the blight off of us now. And keep ourselves healed up. Topped up. Yeah, I was like, we, we, we healed for four. I'm like, but it says four. How can we only heal for four? Then I realized that we don't have anything that boosts his healing on. That repost is so nice. We'll take this. Finish you off. And you're going to die to bleed, aren't you? Nice one. We got through that a little easier than I thought. Come on, guys. Let's keep going. Let's keep pushing forward. Onward until the tasks end, as they say. Right, let's not walk straight into a trap this time, especially with someone with 95 to Sam. That was just terrible misplay. I'm playing too fast. It's because the episode is, like, quite long. I don't, want this, I don't want this run to be too long. I want it to be sort of an in and out thing. That's a lot of stress incoming. Let's hope we can get rid of a lot of that. Um, let's try and stun both of you. Stun one of you. At least lowers some of our stress coming in. Nice. And there you go. Moving everyone around right now. Just applying bleed. Wow, that's not... That view. Trell applies so much bleed. He's so heavily armored. That, and his blade must be so sharp. That he just bleeds everything he touches. Anything with flesh is just... It's gonna die. Nice. William's been been very well behaved considering his uh his want for the ocean right now. I'm very very pleased with him. 
It's doing better than I would expect. Oh, can this guy stop dodging? Luckily, he's died to bleed, but that's very annoying. You died to bleed as well. Wow. Taking things out fast right now. Very fast. Grab myself a few bit extra bits here. And we can go through here. Some spiders. I think I think we can deal with them just fine. Actually deals a bit of damage there. The bite, a nice dodge by William. Poise Cleave takes out two of them in one fell swoop. Feel like Mars. I, I underestimate Mars. Mars is too good. And even Red. We haven't used Red in so long. But she is... As, as much as she likes her job at the, um, at the uh, brothel. In the red room, she uh, she can she can take she can handle her own out on the uh, out on the adventures. There's that plague taking effect. Try and get a double stun on these guys. Nice, no stress for us. I'm even gonna try and take one out. There's a crit. That thing's dead. That thing's so very dead. And the cleave, nice one. I love the fact that you can just swap everything around with this character as well. It's really nice. Okay, smack that guy, activate repose. We've got repose on two characters now, that's really good. Bit of blight taken on there, but it's not much at all. <sighs> nice dodge. William is getting some really fortunate dodges right now. Keep him topped up. Keep on doing this. We've got a kill with one of them, even. Probably going to take on some stress here. No crit for us this time. Strike while the iron's hot. Who's taking the stress? Okay, Trail's taking a bit, but he has that repost. We've got the influx. I don't, I'm, I've not heard of that disease before. That's something new. I'm, I'm sure as we delve further and further into these warrens, we're going to discover some new diseases. Minus 20 dodge will sometimes start bleeding during combat. Not great. Not great. This should kill both of them. Lovely. Mars is getting the final strike a lot of the time here, actually. Nice bit of extras. Okay, uh, this is this, isn't it? This is a power-up. Thank you. Uh, we should actually cure you. Oh, we walked into combat. I was trying to cure him. He only has one left on it, though, so it's fine. Just keep bleeding everything. He passed his turn. What the hell? Cure you up. Mars needs a cure next turn as well. Let's just keep going on this uh, repurse build. I think having two people on repurse, especially like that, it's crazy. A double repost for a hell of a lot of bleed. And William has just got the highest dodge I've ever seen in my life. Wow, Trell took a big hit there. We're probably going to need to cure Trell, actually. Especially because he really just took another hit there. And some Blight. Why does this guy keep passing his turn? We need to get rid of imposter syndrome on him. That's terrible. That's a nice crit there. like to see it. This is a pretty tough fight here. Luckily, a lot of the enemies here are killing themselves. In fact, three of them killed themselves. Nice crit there, Red. And another crit there. Wow, that's a lot of bleed. You're dead. It looked it looked bad to start with, but we did okay just then. We've got so much food here, we might as well heal everyone up with food. Nice one. Head to this. Head back this way. We'd have to do a fight if we go this way, so we might as well take the easier route. Nice, we got ourselves this thing. Uh, oh, it's, we'll take that. I shall take that. William disarms the trap. Nice one, William. And we pass through into the last room. And there you go. Nice little quest to end off, just to, um, just to get people ranked up a little bit. It should hopefully bring um, a few people up to level three now. Yes, there you go. Everyone's up to level 3 apart from Red. Very nice to see. Gangrene, we definitely need to uh, get rid of a few of those. Let's have a little look in the... Uh... Oh, we've taken on two new Forsakens there. We have the ability to take them on. Let's just quickly go in here. And just in case, I'll do this again, even though I know I didn't give them any trinkets. Right, Mars. You need to get rid of Imposter Syndrome, but for now we actually need to get rid of your Gangrene... And trail, you need to get rid of your influx. Right. We have ourselves a master apostate. Um. Do I want to bring on another apostate? Don't know. I don't know. 
I kind of do want to bring on another apostate, but I don't think I should. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be good and not do that. I'm gonna be good and not do that, even though I do want to. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Scarecrow, six percent damage versus marked minus twenty dodge. Um, nothing particularly bad there. Right, let's have a look what we got here. I, th I, don't, I don't. By the looks of it, these don't change. So we've just got the same ones available there. Uh, let's check it. Check any of these. See if there's any of these that really take our fancy. Because um, there's some really, really powerful ones here. Helion. Decent. We need ones that are like super, super good. Combination. 10% stun chance. 10% blight chance. Extra range skill. Now we don't need that. That's pretty good. Uh, but the 20% stress is a bit... Mm, Plague Doctor. Extra healing received. Extra blight resist. Grave Robber. Ooh, get some extra uh, stuff while stealth. That's interesting. Flagellant. I feel like that's really good. Uh, plus 20 damage and 15 crit uh, versus bleeding. Considering he essentially bleeds everything he hits. Well, he has to. That's really good. Um, Arbalist. That's pretty good too. Vestal. And on melee attack hit blight. The crushed hemlocks. Let's take that. On melee attack hit blighting. That sounds pretty good. So if we go to sort by rarity now. Um, so we can actually use this mixed with this to on hit bleed and blight for 2-2. Two -two. Although the bleed chance is higher than the blight. But this also does uh, buff your accuracy for melee skills. And this is going to increase your blight chance. So actually it's 120. Okay, that's pretty good. I like both of those. Um, spent a little bit of money on them, but nonetheless, I think this was a good episode and we've done a lot and we managed to kill yet another boss, even if it was very scary. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one.